You had a feeling, you had to have a feeling it was going to happen. The Islanders pouring it on early. Minnesota guilty of some errors. John Tonelli comes out of the corner, lets the shot go. Lower left-hand corner. It's in the net. Mike Bossy was pushed, jostled in front of the net. Goaltender Malosh put up quite a stink about the fact that he thought he was interfered with by Bossy. There's the shot right between the legs of Bossy into the lower left-hand corner. One to nothing very quickly here. Three goals already here in a hockey game. 12-47 remaining, and Brian Trache has given the Islanders back their one-goal lead. Minnesota having trouble in their own end of the ice. See everybody heading into the center ice area when Trache stole the puck, walked in, put it in the net. There it is, handed to him, skates straight in on Malosh. One quick move, he goes to the forehand. Kurt Giles, number two. With Sutter at a very difficult angle. Relaxed. Here's the play. Dwayne Sutter lets the puck come right off the boards. McCarthy tried to check him. It was a good play because in behind him comes brother Dwayne, or Brent, excuse me. Look at the shot. It hit right at the goal post in the arm and trickled. It fell in off the arm of goaltender Malosh. There's the shot. It was up high, just below the crossbar. You see him move his arm? He looked underneath. The puck had already trickled through and gone into the net. And Brent Sutter has given the Islanders a one goal lead. All of this game is 18th of the year. And now five on the road trip. One second still remaining. Good defensive effort by the Islanders. Minnesota showing some weakness, trying to control the puck. Here was their last effort. A rush into the Islanders' end. Clark Gillies makes the play along the boards. Brian Trotche with a one bank right at the center ice stripe. And it goes down the ice, slowly heading for the net. In hot pursuit, Gordy Roberts, but the puck Again, is a little faster. 1959.